He is an ultra marathoner running 50 kilometers today, just one of dozens following the migration route of the monarch butterfly, 4,000 kilometers from Canada to Mexico. Starts from Peterborough, Ontario, uh, all the way to Sierra Madre in the north of Mexico. We need to create awareness of the pollinators that, that surround us, and the monarch butterfly is one of them. Uh, without them, we, will, we wouldn't have any food. The monarch butterfly population was seeing a dramatic decline, with their lowest numbers ever recorded in 2013. There's multiple reasons why the monarch population was in decline. Uh, habitat loss, so loss of the habitat that they would have in mil milkweed plants um, over the last 20 years. Um, also, climate ch the change in climate with extreme weather events. If there's a big snowstorm, it can wipe out hundreds of millions of monarchs. Since then, through efforts by local governments and individual residents, we are seeing a positive resurgence in the population. The David Suzuki Foundation says that push for change has been heard by local governments. In the city of Toronto and throughout uh, southern Ontario, there's, there's been a real shift in people's um, attention for milkweed specifically. So milkweed is the plant that monarchs depend on. Um, in 2013, it was on the nauseous weeds list. In the last five years, it's really shifted. And so people, are, you, uh, milkweed is in demand. And much of that demand for change has been led by grassroots monarch champions. This is the best year ever to have the whole city people who were never interested in butterflies, to have all of them talking about it now. It gives us hope that we can actually do something by planting native plants to preserve these for our grandchildren. And while we are seeing many more monarchs all over the city and country this year, you may also be seeing them taking over laneways. As monarch-inspired murals have been painted on more than three dozen garages of this Toronto laneway. Partnership with Street Art Toronto and David Suzuki Foundation. If we raise awareness that uh, these organisms are still living here and they need food and they need shelter, um, that sort of can have a, a change in society where people are planting more pollinator friendly plants. Plants that will help the monarchs make their incredible migration. It'll take 50 runners to accomplish that same route that the monarch butterflies take in the relay style marathon. So we're just hoping that, you know, kids and youth and citizens are engaged and inspired. And this little guy hopes to inspire you too. Released today at just one day old to begin his incredible migration journey. Well, to find out how you can get involved with the Ultra Run or how to plant a pollinator-friendly garden, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.